Well, you're in your little room And you're working on something good But if it's really good You're gonna need a bigger room Well, hello, it's Dexter to me Back on your screens again with another captivating video And we've, we've made up We're friends again um, Today's video is a little bit different It's not about gear It's about an actual photograph um, now, I've been into landscape photography for longer than I would care to remember. Um, but over those years, um, I've amassed around about 50 or 60 images that I'm really, really proud of. Um, images that I would consider keepers and worthy of printing and printing big. But earlier this month, I took a photograph that I think is the best picture I've ever taken. And I don't say that lightly. Now, obviously, this is completely subjective, and you might think the image is rubbish. And you'd be right, because that's your opinion. It doesn't matter. But I'm going to try and explain now why I think this is my best picture ever, and why I've decided to have it printed very, very big to hang on my lounge wall. Anyway, here it is. It's a picture of the lighthouse at Mumbles. Uh, you, you might have seen it on the channel already. I think it's been in one or two videos and you may have seen it um, as it's my uh, desktop picture on my screens. But why do I think it's such a good image? Well, for me, it's got everything. It's got great light, it's got detail, it's got drama, it's got leading lines and a broken rule of composition. Now, firstly, I really love the light in this image. It was taken at sunrise in early March and is a mix of blue hour and soft dawn light. Now I'm gonna get all uh, pretentious here because I love the way it illuminates the clouds and gently kisses the sea, the rocks, and the concrete pier in the foreground without being harsh and blown out. Now I honestly think I nailed the exposure in this image, but it wasn't an easy one to get right. Uh, it took three filters. Uh, um, I had a circular polarizer, uh, a lead little stopper, and a format high tech uh, reverse grad filter to hold the sky in. Um, so it was quite a technical image to make in that respect, but I'm really glad uh, um, I took the time to get it right in camera because there's so little post processing on this image. I barely touched it. Secondly, the leading lines for me are absolutely perfect. They point you directly to the subject of the image, uh, the lighthouse, but in a way that makes you study the image to see the subtle colors and textures in the rocks. And the rocks on the left, if you look carefully, almost form a perfect arrow pointing to the lighthouse. The long exposure, I think it's around about 15 seconds in this image, uh, lends it drama and it renders the waves at, breaking over the rocks as that ethereal mist that I really like in coastal um, photography. Now next is the fact that I placed the lighthouse in the center of the image. Now not textbook, I know, um, but for me, I think it makes a more interesting and balanced composition. Uh, the composition is perfectly balanced for me with the clouds balancing out the islands and providing a soft contrasting texture to the rocks. The sheer amount of detail in the image, thanks to the Fuji GFX 50R and the 23mm lens's resolution, helps, I think, to hold your eye over various parts of the scene while you drink in that detail. But finally, though, it's the way the picture makes me feel. Now, not just pride in a technical job well done, but it takes me back to the cold morning, getting up and out of the house by about quarter to six, the drive down to the Mumbles and setting up. It also reminds me that I dropped my Lee adapter ring down onto the rocks after making the image and was really lucky, believe me, to be able to retrieve it. But most of all, it reminds me why I love this hobby so much. It's for moments like this when everything comes together well in my mind anyway, to create the perfect image. Now, as I said right at the start of the video, you might like this image, you might not, you might agree with me, you might not, it doesn't matter. It's all about subjectivity and opinions. And that's the beauty of art. That's why we do it. I don't do my photography to please a, a wider audience. 
yes, I display my images on Instagram and 500px, and if they get likes, that's great. But I do my photography to please myself. I like the images I make. I'm happy with them. And if I can get something that I'm proud enough of to hang on my wall, well, that's just a massive bonus. Anyway, thanks very much for... Are you asleep? Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Uh, oh, you're weak now, are you? <laughs> to say bye-bye to the folks, is it? Thanks very much for watching. Uh, as usual, Dexter and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye. Say bye. Look there, look.